guys. My name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the first half of November reading for you all. November 1st through the 15th reading for Scorpio. How are you all today? Hope everybody's doing great, feeling good, enjoying the beautiful weather. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. It's not going to resonate with everybody. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to try your other signs. My prayers are still going out to everybody that's going through any and all kinds of nonsense right now. Please stay safe, okay, you all? Just seems like a lot of... A lot of craziness going on. All right. Let's see what we got. Temperance. The world card. Three of Rods, Page of Rods, which are Wands by the way, King of Rods, and the Lovers. These cards are a little different size, so I have to try to let them make them fit in. The Emperor, Page of Cups, and Five of Cups. Choose a new direction within the next few months. Hmm. You guys ready to choose a new direction? I think some of you guys are. Past ready. Helpless and hopeless. Oh goodness. Awaiting results. You know, I'll get into it in a minute. Give me just a minute, okay? All right, you all. You know, when I get this helpless and hopeless over here, it kind of it breaks my heart a little bit. It makes me feel like, and along with this five of cups, of course, it makes me feel like a lot of you all, um, a lot of other people too, are just feeling like, what is going on right now? What on earth is happening? And it kind of, you know, after a while, it starts making you feel like, what on earth am I going to do now? Or how am I going to change these certain situations that's going on in my life that I feel like I have no control over? Um, for some of you all, this has to do with children because I have two pages here. So possibly schoolings and colleges maybe and different things like that. Some of you all may be thinking of adoptions or fostering kids at this time as well. Now they can stand for different things and they can also stand for messengers that's coming in and they can stand for um, emotions and passion and things like that. But I'm almost feeling like it's come to a point to where a lot of people are, are just wanting to get back to normal 
and we're not even sure what that is anymore. Here's the thing, you all. This is changing. And even though it may seem um, a little bumpy, it may seem a little um, aggravating and a little stressful, things are changing. And I believe they're changing extremely quick. And I think you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised by the way this works out in this reading versus how it may start out. So when I get this world card, I always feel like that this is an ending of a specific cycle in your life. A certain stepping stone is finally coming to an end and you guys are raring and waiting for it. And then something else can begin. And I'm feeling like that you guys are about ready to get some kind of news, some sort of messages, some sort of text, emails, um, opportunities, situations that's really going to put you more feeling like on top of the world a little bit. So I see this awaiting results and I see this three of rods and I see these two pages that's almost coming in saying, hey, your opportunity is coming. Your um, something that maybe you've applied for or something that you've asked for. Maybe it's a resume that you put in. Maybe it's a college that you've applied for. Maybe it's something completely different. Maybe you're trying to buy a new home or get a new apartment or get a new condo, whatever it is. Maybe moving to a totally different place too. I'm feeling like you're you're waiting for these results and I think you're going to get something coming in during this time period. I believe that you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised and tickled with the way things are going to work out, even though you're feeling a little bit helpless at this time. And I'm sorry to say that, but you know, it breaks my heart, honestly. Here's the thing, you all. If you guys are wanting something new, if you are looking for something new, please apply for it now because I'm feeling like a new direction is coming. And once you guys get these results, and I think you're going to be getting them soon, you're going to start a new path in a new direction, more life experiences, different life experiences. I think a lot of you all may be considered as the emperor at this time. So when I get it, I'm feeling like you may become a boss. You may be getting a promotion. You may be running um, a company of some sort. Maybe it's a supervisor or manager. Maybe you're about to own your own business. But I'm feeling like that something is coming in and it's really going to put you all in a much better place and a much better feeling. <coughs> Excuse me. I also believe that no matter what, I think with this lover's card, I'm almost feeling like you guys have a bond with someone that, that this predicament or this situation is going to make you all closer than ever. I believe that even though it's a little sad and maybe some things that's going on right now that you're feeling this way about, I'm thinking that things are about to change to where you're going to be like, you know, things aren't so bad after all. I'm, that's how I, I'm thinking. That's how I'm feeling. That's how I'm, I'm um, seeing this working out for you. Now, for some of you with this King of Rods, which is a fire sign, a wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you may be dealing with a fire sign, could be a lover, um, could be someone in your, a friend or someone giving you an opportunity. It could also be possibly your energy. And with that, and you take the Emperor and the King of Rods, and you're, you're getting fire, you're getting passion, you're getting more energy, more determination, very outgoing, very generous, very faithful, dependable, passionate, and you're rolling the, the, all of these up into one, and I think that something is coming in that's really going to put you all feeling 
good about your decisions and about how things are working out for you. Give me just a minute, okay? I also want to say this with, <clears throat> excuse me, with this emperor, I'm kind of feeling like for some of you all, this is going to be, it's almost like a twofold kind of card. On one hand, this is going to be your energy by the end of this reading. On the other hand, this is going to be someone coming in, helping you somehow. A strong authority figure could be mother-father figure. It could be someone that you've known for a long time, well-respected. It could be someone that owns a business. This could be someone giving you this opportunity that you're awaiting results from. Some of you all could be finding out you're pregnant, possibly, awaiting these results as well. Or having grandbabies, kids, babies or grandbabies. Hold on. I have a feeling, you know, I guess I watch a little too much news, to be honest with you. And I'm seeing a lot of people moving from certain places and moving towards um, other places. And I have a feeling some of you all are wanting to do this. And maybe it's, it's, it's maybe you can work from home, for instance, and you've realized that you can live maybe out in the country or something like that. And I'm feeling like you guys are going to see this huge change within the next few months. So if you do get the results that you're looking for, if you do get the um, acknowledgement, the opportunity to do something that is important to you at this time, I'm thinking that you're going to jump on it and you're going to take advantage of it. And I think that's fantastic. I get this temperance card here. And you know, it's, it's kind of like balance. It's also, it kind of makes you feel like um, it's almost mixing two ingredients together to get a, a great um, a great object, a great garden, for instance. You know, you've got to have water in order to have a garden. I'm almost feeling like this can be peaceful. This can give you guys harmony. This can bring in a lot of balance into your life. And I just feel like for some of you, it is moving somewhere different. It is possibly taking on a new job. It is possibly looking out for your children and, and doing what's best for them. Because at the end of the day, your kids, your family, your relationship, your loved ones, are the most important and that's what you guys are focusing on I believe right now and I think with that being said you guys are going to be extremely tickled with some results that you may get in if you've applied for them now you have to apply for things in order to get uh, an answer or results um, but if you've applied for anything jobs or you know apartments schoolings whatever it is I think you're going to get uh, a good answer and I think you're going to be tickled with the outcome. I really do. Give me just a minute, okay? I'm going to rearrange. I'm almost feeling like this world card's coming in. Mm. Change my mind. I'm going to put him first because I have a feeling. If they're kids, they come first. If they're messages, they're going to come first. So here's the thing, I think 
that some of you guys with this helpless and hopeless and this five of cups over here you're going through a situation that's making you really sad and a little bit vulnerable to be honest and you're feeling a little bit like what's going on when's it going to change when thing when are things going to get back to normal here's the thing with this world card and this um three of rods this awaiting results choose a new direction within the next few months i think you're going to be sound again as far as getting into something that you are waiting for applying for um, this world card is something coming to an end so something else can begin and i think that's where the new direction is coming in this page of rods and this page of cups i just feel like could be children younger energies that you guys may be protecting or looking out for they can also be messengers okay and when I get these, I feel like that there are going to be messages that comes in for you all as far as application results, news, um, emails, texts, whatever it is. Um, maybe it's social media. I think you guys are going to get some kind of response or some kind of information that's coming in to you guys that's going to really uh, put a spark underneath you, so to speak especially with this king of rods now i believe this person it could be either your loved one your spouse your boyfriend girlfriend your parents or this is someone giving you an opportunity okay and then i see this three of wands like you've like you're waiting for you know something to come back you've already put it put something out there and you're waiting for it to come back along with this awaiting results and i believe here it comes you all when I see this temperance card, and this is more like balance, and this is more like peace and harmony and, and, and enjoying life again. And if you look at her, she's, she's almost like in a, you know, a daze, but in a good way, you know. She's like, ah, look at this beautiful garden. I feel like that's the way you guys are going to be here soon. I think within the next few months. And I do believe that there's, there needs to be several steps in order for you to get there right you know like new jobs or a new place to live and things like that and once you take those steps boom within the next few months you'll actually see yourself in this new place for instance or in this new school maybe or in this new um, home possibly buying this new business maybe and then all of a sudden you're you're at peace again I do believe um, that your emotions are all over the place right now, but I see this emperor as you guys are taking back control. You're going to get back in charge of what's going on in your life. On the flip side of this, this person is going to help you do it. So I think that this is a twofold card. On one hand, they're going to give you an opportunity or help you in some way. And on the other hand, you're going to become more like the emperor, which means you could get promotions. You, you're seeing things in all uh, angles, if through all the king's eyes, because you are the emperor. So you, you actually, um, you're fair and balanced. Of course, you, you're intelligent. You see things, you've got energy, you've got uh, emotions you've got you know common sense you've got everything great rolled up into one person and that is how you guys are going to feel by the end of this reading I think when it all comes to the end it's it's the family and the relationship possibly the kids you know anything that has to do with your family is the most important I believe if you guys are wanting a change and you're feeling helpless and hopeless at this time, now might be the time to take the first step to, to get something done. And once you do that and you start getting replies and you start get as you started in motion, you'll start seeing things fall into place. And before you know it, within the next few months, you'll actually be where you're wanting to be. All right, Scorpio, I hope everybody has a great birthday, by the way. Happy birthday to you all. Sorry, I forgot to say that. Hope everybody has a great birthday. Hope you guys have enjoyed this today. If you are feeling helpless and hopeless, please uh, realize that you can change things if you're, if you're wanting to, okay? This is your first half of November reading, November 1st through the 15th reading for Scorpio. Hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon.